Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Hausenblatt and I work in the AWS Open Source Observability Service Team. Today I want to talk about state of open telemetry, where we are and what is next. So before we dive into open telemetry, let us have a very quick look at what observability really is. Observability is the capability to continuously generate and discover actionable insights based on signals from the system under observation with the goal to influence that system. So we have sources, those might be compute, like a Kubernetes cluster or a Lambda function, a database, data store, and those sources generate signals. We have agents, and then we have destinations, backends, where we store these signals and we graph these signals and we interact and filter and alert on these signals. Either a human might consume that signal to you know, investigate something, understand something, or a piece of software. Think of, for example, auto scaling. What's with the agent? So the piece of software that sits between the sources and the destinations collects all the signals and ingests them into the backend destinations. Before we get there, quick, um, you know, sync up on signals, making sure everyone is on the same page. We are dealing mostly with uh, four major signal types. Logs, which are signals that have a contextual, uh, textual payload, I'm sorry. Um, they're capturing events and they're mostly um, meant for humans to be uh, consumed by humans. We have metrics, which are numerical signals, aggregates um, that have typically their semantics encoded in the name and or via labels, and uh, they carry numerical values, right? Then we have distributed traces. They're all about propagating an execution context along request path. And then we have profiles, which um, Open Telemetry not yet covers, but uh, in the future, hopefully. And uh, those are about the resource usage in the context of the code execution. So, what is the problem we're trying to solve here? Well, the first bit is really all about the um, journey from the sources to the destination. So we have currently, widely, a number of different agents that we use to collect the source uh, signals and ingest them into backends. The solution going forward is, you have guessed it, replace all these various agents, these proprietary protocols and formats and um, vendor-specific agents with one agent, one agent that rules it all, and that is open telemetry. Not just the agent, but also the instrumentation. So let's have a closer look at what is open telemetry on a conceptual level. Formally, open telemetry, or OTEL as the cool kids say, is a cloud native computing foundation project, CNCF project. You might know CNCF from big hits like Kubernetes, but also Prometheus and many, many others. So what does Open Telemetry really do? It provides a set of specifications, a, a protocol, OTLP, an agent that we call collector and libraries, SDKs. So again, Think of it, sources, agent, destination. Open telemetry sits in the middle. Open telemetry aims to support all uh, major signal types. Currently, um, we're focusing on traces, metrics, and logs across 11 programming languages uh, from Java over Python to uh, things like Erlang and Elixir. Now, the big advantage of open telemetry besides that it's an open standard and all the vendors and all the isvs and all the cloud providers are behind it is really that it turns this telemetry challenge instrumenting your code and uh, collecting the different signal types ingesting them 
into table stakes, right? It makes it table stakes. On top of that, you get correlation of different signal types. So you can more easily jump between these different signals. But if we zoom in in the middle into this collector, how does that look like? Conceptually, we're talking about so-called pipelines. This is a per signal type. So a pipeline for logs, a pipeline for metrics, a pipeline for traces, pipeline in the future, potentially for profiles that uh, again, conceptually have three different types of components that you can use there, a bit like Lego bricks. You have receivers, those are inbound or ingress, where from the signal sources, from the bottom downstream, signals come into the collector. For example, you might have an OTLP, so a native uh, open telemetry receiver. Then there are processors in the middle of the pipeline you want to do something. For example, logs. You might want to drop certain logs or redact them because there is PII, uh, personal identif uh, information in there. Or you want to batch them. So rather than sending one signal after that, you batch it up uh, for 10 seconds or for whatever number of, of metrics, for example, or traces. And then there are the exporters, which allow you to ingest those signals into the backend destinations. For example, to Jaeger, Prometheus, etc., etc. You can have many pipelines. You can have many pipelines that cover the same signal type. Um, and you can treat them independently. You could have one log pipeline for uh, one specific environment, like development that lands the logs in a certain backend, and another one for production, etc., etc. So you see, this open telemetry collector is a very substantial part of um, the open telemetry project and the overall value prop. So just as a reminder, what are the three uh, main components in a pipeline? It's a receiver, processor, and exporter. And the pipelines that kind of like wire up these three component types um, and yeah, let you build these different uh, routing and filtering uh, pipelines as you see fit. Now, there are three ways or three fundamental approaches to how you can use um, the agent, the collector. And different uh, vendors and different cloud providers indeed have different approaches to that. Uh, I, I just used the uh, official documentation here, opentelemetry.io slash vendors. Uh, and in, for each of the, the, the providers, I dug into the uh, descriptions and tried to figure out what are the different signal types that they are currently uh, providing in, in, uh, in what state, like GA or, or preview or better. Um, how do you do deal with uh, the collector? Are they uh, themselves maintaining a collector? Are they using the upstream collector, which is provided by the project? Um, what's with the SDKs? Is there a specific SDK or again, upstream? And uh, if the relative uh, across the, the board, the, the providers have uh, a managed OTLP endpoint, so natively uh, allow you to ingest um, uh, open telemetry data. Now, that's a basic overview on open telemetry. Now, let's see in terms of adoption. I will present two different survey data. Here on the one hand, uh, the first uh, two slides on the open telemetry community quarterly survey. And not very surprising, right? Uh, given where we are with the adoption, um, traces went uh, GA in 2021. Uh, metrics are uh, going GA as we speak. A um, number of those things are stable. We get back to that in the roadmap. Um, and logs will be going GA in 2023. So it's not too surprising that currently uh, half of, of the um, people who responded to that survey said they're using it for tracing, which makes a lot of sense, and uh, a third for metrics, roughly. Looking into the future, um, then the picture slightly changes. Again, to be expected that uh, logs will take a, a bigger part and, and metrics as well, slightly. Continuing with this survey, 
uh, again, asking about what components in the widest sense, both collector and, and across the program languages. And there you see that uh, at least the collector and um, Go, Java, uh, Python and JavaScript uh, leading the pack. Uh, Go doesn't surprise me again too much uh, because the whole cloud native system from Kubernetes to Prometheus to the open telemetry collector written in Go. So there is a certain affinity there uh, for early adopters at least. Moving on to a second survey, uh, which I, I self um, ran and um, essentially uh, asked people uh, to, to you know, provide their feedback. Um, the first two are really just setting the scene. What agents are you currently using? I was a little bit surprised to see uh, already, um, you know, quite a, a good share, two thirds, uh, saying that they are using the Open Telemetry Collector, might be selection bias. The, you know, folks who are already using open telemetry are more open to, uh, you know, responding to that survey. But then, um, in the destinations, in the back end destinations, where do you send signals to? Um, Prometheus is clearly uh, leading the pack there, followed by others, so across the board, CloudWatch and Elasticsearch. Now, most interesting that uh, really I want to point your attention to this is. Uh, what are the biggest pain points of your current agent setup? And interestingly enough, uh, lack of correlation is uh, with half of the respondents uh, indeed the number one, which is a perfect fit for open telemetry, to be very honest, uh, followed by too many agents. Obviously, that's a value prop of open telemetry. You want to consolidate rather than having multiple agents uh, running, you want to have one agent there. Moving on to the second part, um, ask about adopting open telemetry. So what's the motivation? What drives you to, uh, to, to adopt open telemetry? And uh, both industry standard, because it is an industry standard, and to reduce vendor lock-in are pretty much the, the two main um, you know, uh, reasons why, why folks are adopting open telemetry. And ask further, and you see that 71 out of 91 people here uh, answered this question. If you're already using uh, Open Telemetry, what kind of setup are you using? And uh, indeed, that uh, reflects also the, 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 the earlier on uh, distribution distro survey uh, that, that I, I presented you, uh, that a good share are using uh, upstream distro and collector, which is in line with what you would expect because the majority of uh, distributions indeed use upstream. Um, there are certain challenges when you're using uh, upstream or roll your own. It's not bad, don't get me wrong, but it means that you're responsible, you're on the hook, you need to security uh, patch it, you need to uh, make sure that the resource usage is in place. Uh, you're responsible for um, all the things that are going on in the collector. And one last bit of information here, which I also found very interesting. Um, assuming that someone already is into open telemetry, what are the reasons that slow you down? What are the road blockers? What are the paper cuts? And um, yeah, also again, very much to expect uh, people saying with almost half, uh, what I need, for example, logs, is not yet fully available. And that is, again, not a big surprise. That is probably to be expected, given where we are in mid-2022. Uh, other insights there that we as a community need to work on, lack of documentation or tutorial av available, um, and the software not sta stable enough. That includes uh, also the SDKs. So now that you have a somewhat better understanding, I hope, of the uh, adoption, where and how and why folks are using open telemetry. Let's have a look at the roadmap. Where are we? Where are we going? As mentioned, distributed traces um, already are GA, um, end of 2021. Everything is stable there um, and you can use it in production. Metrics uh, this year, in, in May to be precise, uh, most of the, the things uh, became stable and uh, we're still in this process of uh, various SDKs uh, implementing the, the metrics uh, making making you know their turn into into GA 
um, release candidates exists and you know you can use metrics um, in production logs on the other hand are still under active development while the, on the protocol level we are stable there are uh, a number of things that yet need to be figured out and that's where we need your feedback we need to understand what exactly is the usage what are the expectations how uh, do you want to use logs uh, and clearly as you can see from the data um, people want logs people uh, are essentially to a certain extent also waiting for logs to be available in, in, in GA so that they can finally start to consolidate and adopt everything. All right, and with that, we come to our summary. So summing up, open telemetry is the vendor neutral telemetry standard. It's an open standard for all signal types. It enables you to instrument once and ingest anywhere, if the, the button is allowed, um, making telemetry effectively table stakes. So vendors at large um, have agreed upon the fact that they do not want to compete on the telemetry bits, on the agents, formats there and so on, but on the backends, uh, allowing you to consume the different signals, correlate them and so on. Open telemetry has broad industry adoption. All major ISVs in this space, all major cloud providers are behind it, have respective teams. I'm myself an example, a product manager for our distribution of open telemetry at AWS. And uh, this is really something that, in terms of investment, if you ask yourself, should I be investing in open telemetry, this is a big plus. This is something where you have. Uh, the safety and security of the future. So, quickly summing up, in 2021, traces went GA, this year, metrics go GA, 2023, logs will go GA, which means if you're considering adopting open telemetry, now is the time. And there is super interesting stuff going on in the community. Uh, earlier this year, we had um, an initiative bringing profiles to signal type. Um, Think continuous profiling, um, things like Pixie, Parker, Pyroscope, um, bringing that into, into open telemetry. And there is a um, you know, working group around that, and you can participate if you want. And then there is really use of monitoring. Um, there are collector improvements. There are so many things going on. But I would say, by and large, currently the focus is really on logs. And once logs are out of the door, then the community will probably move on and focus on the, the other things that I mentioned there. With that, I'd um, like to point out I'm currently writing a book with Manning called Cloud Observability in Action, where uh, I'm covering the topics as well. And um, maybe you want to check it out. All right. Thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to a conversation on the topic of open telemetry. Thank you.